Hello folks, Jack McKeever here. Judaism number 79. Guess what? It's the goose. Yes. Well, what does the goose have to offer? The goose has to offer an awful, awful lot. You know, goose is very territorial. Let's take that one first off, for example. Protection. Family-oriented. Goal-oriented. Happiness. Well, you can be as nice as you want to a goose. As nice as you want. You can feed it bread and everything else. But you get close, chuck that bread, and it sees you as a threat. First, it'll honk a warning. Well, some people think that's funny, you know. <laughs> they get a little closer, chuck another piece of bread, that goose will bite them. And not only that, you know, let's look at this for, with some reason here, you know. If they really despise you, don't look up when they fly away. But that's the whole thing, they're territorial. Okay, so you have to really watch that. Uh, a goose like an eagle mate for life so a lot of people didn't know that but yeah they do they mate for life so you know when you go out and you shoot them during hunting season and stuff which one are you shooting the male or the female because you just ruined 20 years of somebody's life maybe you should think about that before you shoot the goose Let's look at something else, okay? <clears throat> when we look at a relationship, let's look at life as relationships. See, in a goose, they mate for life. They won't mate until they know they're mated for life. But that's not really realistic in our world. But if you're unhappy, and you're not going anywhere, and you really don't look at anything else. Well, maybe you ought to look right in front of you because maybe that person you could mate with for life is standing right there. A lot of the times we miss the obvious because we don't have the eyes to see. Or perhaps we should rephrase that and say we have the eyes to see, we just don't see. So a goose can mean a lot of different th different things, okay? Happiness, joy, enthusiasm with life. Protect what's right. Protect yours. That's why they're territorial. You see, because you see, in the springtime, they all go off with their mates. And then they gather again when they move on. And that's another thing that they, you know, if you're not happy with the situation while you're staying there, move on. You know, if there's no food for the soul, move on. Why? Don't, don't allow yourself to get stagnant. The goose doesn't let you get stagnant. If there's no food, go someplace else. All right? Anyhow, that's the goose. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.